Hello and welcome to this breaking of Roblox and today, well, we are gonna talk of course about Roblox The Hunt Well, it seems that this event is not what we expected it to be And of course, as some of people including myself they have watched some leaks in the past few days It is definitely not an egg hunt Instead, it's a normal UGC dev hunt called The Hunt First Edition And it's based on Ready Player One event where players have to finish the quest by joining the main hub of the event Go to portal of how to play the game and finish the quest there to get badges to earn special Roblox accessories Blocks the news Twitter out by saying, Welcome to the Hunt First Edition. Explore the Infinite Vault. This hunt will take you into the Infinite Vault where you will find futuristic treasures collected through Roblox space and time. So yeah, basically that when you join the game or uh, the main hub of this event, you will find all the accessories that you need to get uh, to accomplish this mission or accomplish this event. Uh, as basically the links that I've shown here, these are the prizes that has been leaked. For this event so basically when you join the main hub you will know um, giving some instructions or some sort of things on how you're gonna get those roblox accessories items and apparently that this robot some of these roblox accessories items for this event apparently can be purchasable and not just only by obtaining it by playing the games earn badges and then return to the hub and just you know get the roblox accessories apparently you can buy it as well so yeah many people hoping um, this is gonna be a game changer and they're hoping for that accessories to get limited. Also, Bloxy in his Twitter said that excited to be able to share some additional information about the Hunt First Edition event and the future of Roblox events to come. To begin, the Hunt users will join the Hunt First Edition hub opening March 15 at 10 a.m. Pacific, which will house portals to all participating experience, user progress information, and their personal vault. The vault is full of specifically created race and elusive exclusive items supposed to be there, and badges are the key to unlocking them. In addition to earning items by completing quests and earning badges, users can purchase exclusive items in the Hunt First Edition hub. All items be available for a limited time. Hunt First Edition is an example of Roblox testing the waters to see what the community wants when it comes to platform-wide events. After several years hiatus, this is the first of many events Roblox will orchestrate over the months to come. So yeah, not just only um, you can uh, get the uh, items by completing quests and badges, they can uh, so just now that you can purchase exclusive items from the hub and uh, players should join the game yeah, this the game right here the screenshot is still private though but it will open on March 15 um, so yeah this is the testing for Roblox to see how the players react to this kind of event and if uh, the communities are happy and the events going well well they're gonna do much more events like this in the future and it shows that the community has finally received what they want the event of Roblox or the era the golden of era of Roblox Lots of you know back in the days they're doing some events like egg hunts and everything is finally back and everybody even say that they are they have won we have won uh, roblox is finally back and so much things going on so yeah i'm happy that roblox for once they you know doing this kind of stuff and uh, uh, you know back to the community of the so much stuff they do corporate things and um yeah Glad to see this and can't wait to see the future of the Roblox event. So yeah, I'm actually pretty excited for this event. Like I'm hope I have a big hope for this event because you know it's gonna be huge. And that's basically what I said just now. And it's also confirmed that there are more than 60 games as I'm recording this are taking part in this event. So Lily Gia on Twitter has listed out some of the games that's going to be um, part of the hunt event and yeah there's a lot of them like adopt me bad wars uh, even sonic spin simulator is there so yeah uh, people also worry if they have to join all of these 60 plus games to earn badges for their items right but however it's confirmed that you don't have to join all those games to earn badges and you just only need to play certain games that you want to earn certain accessories means that um, certain accessories they have their own games so maybe you have to play like three or four games of maybe five to six then only you can get these items so i guess we have to wait and see when this event is being officially released so it's just like basically like metaverse champions as well and that's actually really the community as, as they don't need to join all 60 games however if you like a challenging roblox player and you just want to join all these games 
you know just for fun and just getting all the badges and stuff then that will be no problem however with that being said there are some people are hyped and excited with this huge event but some are really disappointed with roblox as roblox making fake hype to the community that they are going to revive Akon but instead they are hyping up with this you know kind of event that people say will become a dumb call just like Akon 2019, 2020 and also Metaverse Champions there are also some people is not satisfied with this event as it you know it's a death hunt and people know how it is the death hunt is going to turn out I mean yes I understand some people are unhappy because of the death hunt but still I think it's not Roblox fault maybe they also Roblox fault because you know they are choosing the games something like this that uh, causing the events like this death hunt turns out bad but the real problem or the real root cause of this death hunt hate is actually from the game devs itself because they are the one who made those challenges for the uh, for the event and Roblox just you know giving out items for the game devs to put it up for players to earn it uh, some of the game devs, they just, you know, putting extreme challenges, putting pay to win aspects during the hunt. Uh, that's the reason why uh, the community hate death hunt so much. However, there are some players, including myself, uh, actually grateful for once to Roblox as they finally did a community event after thousands of sponsor events. Like, like, let's be real, there are hundreds and thousands of sponsor events after the uh, Metaverse Champions and Akon has been cancelled. And... Roblox going to corporate business back in 2021 so that's basically the downfall of Roblox and you know last time they did this kind of event is Metaverse Champions but of course that event got backlash and after that they don't do any events anymore and they also have a perception by saying quote the community can build their own event I, get, I don't think if you guys remember that RV Battle Season 3 event back in 2022-23 Well, that event didn't been fun by Roblox But Roblox say that they're gonna support community events But they didn't And they just only give like Didn't give fun at all to like, you know, the organizers Which is the hosts, Russo Plays and Terabyte Games uh, Which they have to come out of their own pocket to manage this event with the help of some sponsors And yeah even the Roblox didn't give them some fun, but still, I'll be better. It's, it's still considered one of the best Roblox event ever, even though it, they, for this season three, they didn't being funded fully by Roblox, just like season back in season one, and also half funded like in season two. So, players also say that people are just overhyped with the Roblox announcement that the event's gonna be an icon because you know, because of this TikTok comment that I've uh, this right here. And many clues from Roblox admins that showing eggs, uh, just putting chats, uh, eggs, spamming eggs, and sort, sort of in the game, and Twitter just baking eggs. So, yeah. Those just are a troll and it's not gonna be an egg hunt but who knows who knows that the UGC items that we could get in this hunt may be an egg I guess they're gonna wait and see on March 15 what's gonna happen and people find out it's obvious it's not gonna be an hunt because the leaks of the item is not related to egg at all and even the CEO of Roblox David Bazuki also said that they're not going to do religious event like Easter so yeah I Thing I understand why Roblox won't gonna go back to making accounts because they have said that so so but still in my opinion I think we need to be grateful that even though it's not an account as we all expected but still I'm happy Roblox is making events back and trying to reconnect back to the community after so many years they didn't even listen to us there is also a bit of disappointment over the prizes for this event which apparently all of the prize items is not suitable for our 6 avatar and apparently it's for Astro avatar. This has caused anger on the players that they say Roblox still haven't learned their lesson on the Astro avatar that the community are disconnecting their Astro bundle. I mean come on let's be real guys like nobody's wearing Astro. I re rarely see people wearing Astro. Like, I, I don't understand why Roblox is pushing out Arthro to people even though the community did not like it but somehow, you know, in the corporate stuff, the promoting stuff, they're always wearing Arthro. Like, I don't understand Roblox sometimes. But um, still, it seems that Roblox is forcing on Arthro by making these prices only suitable for Arthro and some lay clothing can fix it before R15 package and not for classic R6 package. But I guess we have to wait and see. Maybe they will um change it so that it will be suitable for r6 and r15 just like the core blocks right here uh, where lucas has tweeted out saying that the package somehow 
is currently being fixed by Roblox and Roblox actually replied and saying that the package are it's fixed now so i'm glad that roblox actually for once now they're trying to reconnect uh, reconnect back to the community and just replying to people like they're fixing this or they're fixing that uh we're promoting this promoting the games so even the hunt some of the games like royal high sonic speed simulator uh, um and some other games uh, Roblox actually code tweet that and just um, you know promoting the hype for the event. So I'm glad that Roblox uh, from corporate thingies back in the day, not listening to the community, is now trying to get back to the community, replying to people. The CEO of Roblox replying to people. So yeah, that's basically fun to watch, and I believe Roblox is gonna go back to its um, a good way again. So let's just pray for that. So, and by the way, this event will last until 29th of March at 5 p.m. Pacific time. So, if you want the items for this hunt, you all better start hunting because the hunt is already begun. Also, this news just came in when I was going to edit this video. Uh, Robots tweeted out by saying, I walk the path of glory. Those that wield the power of the Deathwalker will unlock a glorious bounty in the hunt. And showing this video with, uh, with the core blocks package and a golden eyes and golden hand. So that's confirmed that the golden items I showed just now is those who with the core blocks package will get those items. Um, so a lot of people after this tweet uh, directly assume that this event is going to be pay to win because you know those golden items you can only get by just you have to spend 29,000 robux. Uh, because there is the core boss package surprise to get those items so it, it's not fair right like it's really pay to win but then when someone pointed out about this robots directly respond by saying rest assured that this event will not be pay to win and this really like this response received a good response a positive response by the community um, and this directly changed people's perception on this event but we know that you know people still worry because some of the games that's being participated such as um, Pet Simulator and some other games that are uh, like Blade Ball as well um, is well known for pay to win but I guess we just have to wait and see during the event what's gonna happen like I don't know how much Roblox have taken Ws recently because they've been replying to a lot of people's worry, um, sharing about the games I've just seen just now, and but you know this is the one step for Roblox returning back to here on this community again. I'm I'm really all for it. Like I'm really all for it. Like I really want Roblox to get back to the community rather than you know thinking about the corporate stuff like last time. Like Roblox really getting away far away from the community when like the corporate era things you know back in the days but now it's just like they re replying to every single people that's worried about this like this is just big w like a very huge rare w's from roblox so to all worry about this corpus package i don't think you have to worry about it because I still think you can get those gold items somehow and some way but if you have cobbler's package then yes you can get those golden items in an instant and fast way because of this tweet so I guess um, we're gonna wait on 50, uh, March 15 to see um, how is it gonna be so I linked to some people that will show on how to get the items in the games participating in this such as Connor 3D, Shark Blocks, Premier Seller and more because those guys uh, even D replays actually because those guys like really uh, professional on showing like uh, tutorials on how to get certain items so I will link them in the uh, in the description I really want to make videos on that but unfortunately I can because I have examinations in the couple the next couple of weeks but still I will try my best to join some of games because I heard the requirements say you you don't need to join a lot of the games so that, that's good for me so yeah i think uh, we're just gonna wait and see so um i think that's all for this roblox and today that we have discussed about the hunt and i think that's all also for like me uh, giving news on the hunt and we just you know waiting for the march 15 and see what's gonna happen so i'll see you again at the end of the month to summarize players experience and opinion on this event including some other roblox news and even roblox gameplay videos such as uh, um, maybe welcome to blocks but past 1999 like normal gameplay videos that are still on the way as well still i will try to participate in this event as well as this is going to be a huge comeback 
for Roblox. So thank you so much for watching, and of course, I'll see you later. Goodbye and happy hunting.